Hi everyone, welcome. We're so excited. We're going to shoot our first Pet Greens YouTube video. We get questions asking us the growing practices for the self garden kit. So today we're going to go through step by step the process, hoping to answer any questions you might have. We have two self grow kits. The first one is Garden, which grows wheatgrass, and the second one is Medley, which grows a combination of oat, rye, and barley. Before I tear open the bag, I'm going to poke 10 holes across the bottom. You can use a ballpoint pen. Well, I like to use a paper clip. And so I'm just going to take the paper clip and do 10 random holes across the bottom. The next step is to tear open the bag. I gently tap the bag first to get all the soil at the bottom. And there are two tear notches. So just tear across the top and you'll see the seed packet and the seed packet has the instructions on it. I'm going to take some scissors and open the seed packet and then I'm going to pour the seeds evenly across the top of the soil. When I'm done it looks kind of like that. I'm now going to take my finger and you want to take the seeds and poke them about of a quarter of an inch down below the soil. So I'm just doing this with my finger, going back and forth and the seeds just gently fall under the soil. I'm just going to tap it down and it looks like that. Next you'll need a saucer. You can get a pie tin or use something from your cabinet. I'm going to use this plate and put the garden kit on top of it and you'll want to get a cup of water and we're going to moisten the soil. You're going to pour, it, pour the water in slowly, let it absorb, pour a little bit, let it absorb, pour some more and watch the water soak down. And as you do this, some of the seeds may come to the top and that's okay. I'm going to just gently use my finger and poke them down under the soil. That's it. Place the saucer and the kit in an out of the way place that's warm and doesn't get a lot of light. Check on it daily and make sure that the soil is staying moist. On day three, your seed should begin to sprout. When you look into the kit and you see the sprouts coming um, through the soil, take your kit and move it to a better ventilated area that gets more light. Not direct sunlight, but that gets more light. Don't forget to check the soil and make sure that it's staying moist. But that's it. As soon as your garden grows to about two inches, your dogs and cats can start enjoying it. The garden will grow approximately seven inches. We recommend that you trim it after five inches just to keep it healthy. Check out our other products at www.petgreens.com and thanks for watching.